What's going on, Clutch? Caught! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. We are in the Clutch A. Hey, back to ladies and gentlemen, another visit today, you feel me? Back with another Hunter, Hunter TV. TV. Uh, it's Call of Duty realistic, man. Mm. Uh, shout out to the homie, man. Uh, we trying to set something up, man. You ready? Nah, y'all got it. Come on, bro. Come on. Be a part of this greatness. Y'all not finna carry me and put me on the video. Look how many kills he got. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hell no. Man. Come on, bro. I'll be there in moral support. <laughs> I'll be in the party. We're trying to set up some type of gaming session with the, the GOAT himself, one <laughs> of the Call of Duty uh, legends, uh, when it especially comes to content creating and actually gameplay, because I've still never seen anyone cook oh, yeah, some food sure. while winning Battle Royale. I, I don't think that's... I've never seen that before. Nah, he's cold. Nah, yes. I gave him this flower, <laughs> so but at some point, we we'll, ain't gonna be carrying. Come on, bro. Come on. He may be carrying both of us. He may put his. Well, you carry me, and you be. <laughs> That's yeah. different. We're talking about. We'll talk about it some other time. But yeah, we're gonna check this out, man. Yeah, y'all comment down below. Come on, Doug, play the game. <laughs> he's trying to start something. Yeah, let's get, him get, in there, let's guys. get into it, man. Let's go. <laughs> In Call of Duty Ghost, there's this intense scene where you breach a door with five geared enemies on the other side. Your fellow soldier next to you throws a fire extinguisher into that room. Then you shoot the fire extinguisher and it blows up all the enemies around it. I'm curious to see if this is possible wow. in the real world. We got okay, a fire extinguisher bro. right here. It's he the is same taking size as the content the creating to the, the next wow. level, bro. He's, he's trying to see if it's is it realistic. That's awesome. I'm here he's, for it. He's putting them to the put them to the test right now. All right, the same let's height see. and the same distance as the game. We got a fully geared dummy right here. This is gonna mimic the enemies in game. In my hand here, I have a Springfield Hellcat Pro nine millimeter round, just like the weapon I used in game, ready to penetrate this fire extinguisher. We're gonna test how much damage here is gonna be done to the dummy from the fire extinguisher. I don't even know if it's gonna explode. Let's test if Call of Duty is realistic. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, bro. It'll startle people for sure. I can't, oh. I can't see you. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's let the dust settle. That looks crazy. The soldier looks like it's still standing. So right here, we have the entry wound. Don't see an exit wound anywhere. The fire extinguisher did not explode like the game. As we can see here, he's still intact. There's just a little bit of fire extinguisher debris on him. Not damaged yeah, at all. Good. All this really did was leave a big white cloud surrounding the dummy. I think this can confirm pretty well that Call of Duty is not realistic. We've completely innovated in the area of connecting you, the player, to your instance in the game, making you feel more in the game. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. bro, I've never I'm seen the Homelander. I'm smarter. Yeah. Uh, I'm better. Pack. I am better. Yep, he's in the game. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Oh, that's tough. All right, boss. Time to show them what you're made of. You look lonely. I can fix that. <laughs> Split this loot 50 he got toe up in the air. I've detected the enemy's armor plate defenses are down. Only a matter of time till we AI. This is actual, uh, uh, oh, sorry. Are you back? A gun skin, uh, a skin pack. Yep. What the? Can That's a real thing? Yeah. I like it belong in Fortnite. There's a f***ing buddy right here. Yeah. It do seem like they're trying to go Fortnite ish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Oh, that's a clean suit. Not him. <laughs> Searching. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> they got a starlight this in there, too? Uh -huh. This is awful. And yeah. Black Noir. If I could kill it. I would. You seem like he'd be cold. cold. I got that skin. Here's a skin. You do? Yeah. It's, it's the gun and where I kill people. I take their souls and it goes into the gun. So every time I kill somebody, their soul goes into the gun. Oh, that's kind of loud. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is actually pretty cool. I was about to judge. But that's how, once you explained it, that's yeah, how Yeah, like it, the souls just be revolving in the gun. I was like, okay. Yeah, so cool. while you playing, you know you got to say the infamous line. <laughs> Your soul is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Back skin in a game that's set in 2022. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah, Nicki Minaj skin supposed to be coming. Nice. That's not Nicki Minaj. It's, it's not, but that 
It's supposed to be coming to the game. Oh my god. What's your operator? Uh, Kevin, Kevin Durant. Durant. I think that level of immersion <laughs> is really going to speak to fans. So that really? Yeah. Fun. Call of Duty, a video game franchise based on war, is the best selling first person shooter game of all time. In its 20 year mm -hmm. run, it's generated over $31 billion, with oh, hundreds what? of other war games making money behind it. Call of Duty bases itself off real world conflicts and pushes itself to be mm -hmm. realistic. Yo, originally. Deep dive to see how realistic it actually is compared to other military simulator <clears> games. <throat> the most drastic difference between Call of Duty and Milsim games are explosives. <laughs> Back up, back up, back up! <laughs> <What's this? laughs> Rocket launchers in Call of Duty are child's play compared to the ones in Milsim games. In Call of Duty, getting RPG in the car is no big deal. You can just walk it off. Yeah. Get up, private house! They yeah, did something. Get up. But in Milsim games, you're dead before you even hear the explosion go off. We're gonna go fly through this. I don't care, Wesley. Oh! <laughs> the Call of Duty RPG hitting behind Sounds the car. Right. It's an epic RPG. moment. In Milsim, you're just simply dead. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's an RPG. Holy shit. In Call of Duty, when your helicopter gets hit by a rocket, you emerge as the ultimate untouched badass. In Milsim games, there's no escape. You're just dead. You ready to get out? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. That's not getting good. Getting directly hit by an RPG in Call of Duty doesn't even kill you. Look like you hit that. Get your gun up. In See Milsim you games, if an RPG even hits you 15 feet away, you can turn into red mist. Yep. Thanks for the patch <laughs> up, soldier. Oh! <laughs> oh Damn. Yeah. He was out of there. Oh. RPG. He had to blur it mortars out. are Milsim's deadliest threat. Now, the second you get over here. Oh, Call of oh. Duty you about incoming mortars that don't even kill you if they explode right on your head. Nope. In Milsim's, there are no warning. You should instantly die. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh. 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 oh, that was a bad idea. In Call of Duty, you can get hit by artillery, fall down a mountain, come out feeling great. But uh, artillery in Milsim games. Oh my god. 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 Oh. Self-proclaimed bombers Dude. in Call of Duty definitely hurt you a little bit, but if you just take cover, you'll heal in a few seconds. But in Milsims, you just accept your fate. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Car bombs in Call of Duty are just a little You can do that. But in Milsim games, they're a life-ending jump scare. Oh, 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 Ah! Call of Duty shows a big red indicator when there's a grenade next to you, which gives you time to run away. But a Milsim's grenades are a lethal surprise. All right, ready? Three. Oh! Last thing I in real life. Yeah. Where are the traps. Oh, oh nice my play. god! I hear him. I hear him. Oh! There's no way out. Oh! Where are you? Oh! In Call of Duty, there's a perk that reveals where a trap is, which means they ultimately don't kill you ever. Call of Duty makes hmm. these traps look like a joke. Yeah. <laughs> A key distinction between friendly fire and Call of Duty and Milsim games is that it's always an accident in Milsim games. God damn it. Oh! Are you serious right now, bro? You need to know how to cause a frag grenade. He just killed his team. He killed his team. I mean, that's how we be here. Technically. People in Call of Duty just team kill because of personal beef. Yeah. I guarantee if you saw me face to face, you wouldn't say that though. If I knew this, I'd beat his ass. Not that big. I would beat the brakes. I would take this little head off his shoulders. No guns involved, nigga. Beat you up with these hands. You saw me in person, you'd be scared of me. In Call of Duty, friendly napalm dropping on you creates an epic America scene. Be advised, multiple napalm strikes incoming. Yep, that's exactly how it'd be. Ah! But in Milsim games, friendly napalm just burns you alive. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god. Yeah, you're out of there. Call of Duty gets right is the approach of friendlies. Blue, blue. Damn good to see you guys. Soldiers make their presence known to avoid friendly fire. Friendlies coming in. Entry to the front door. That prevents these kind of situations you see in Milsim games. Yo! Oh, sorry, you scared the shit. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> I loaded the clip. What? That's a teammate. Oh, <laughs> he looked, he looked, he looked like a bad guy. Come on, me. He, he did. Like a bad guy. Oh, he did. Damn it. Watch your fucking fire. Call of Duty gets a plus one for this. We're going to need a medivac. We got one down. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. This is a <laughs> available on His integrations with the, the, the ads are like, no, for chef's for sure. kiss, man. But also some of the most realistic scenarios. <laughs> Older Call of Duty games have the most Hollywood breach of scenes. Them. Like swinging through windows and kicking enemies off balconies. Smashing yeah. an entire metal door down with your elbow and throwing a knife. <laughs> blowing up a ceiling and shooting while falling with perfect accuracy. Yeah. With anti-gravity grenades. <laughs> But Call of Duty's oh, realistic cheap. reaching clear moments can teach you eight lessons for Milsim games. Lesson one is using a snake camera to scout who's behind the door before you blow it up. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go! Get the f*** in there! 
Lesson three. Enemies unpredictably charge you at random moments. Since, since, right, since right. you're the fucking oh, king here. Shit. Cool, cool. You didn't call shit out. Oh my god, dude. He opened the door behind you. <laughs> That's cold. Oh, stabbed, Lesson four. When making entry, let the front guy handle incoming rounds to avoid friendly fire. Go, go. Move, bro. <laughs> you got in front of me. You Dog. literally stood right in front of my fucking bullet. Lesson five. Check those corners. Hey, check your left. Check your left. Check your left. Josh, your left. I went over here, bro. What are you talking about? Ah! Damn. There was no one over here. Lesson six. Room clearing without tacticals when enemies know you're present is unwise. Breach, breach, oh. breach. Go, go, go. Move out, move out. Oh, <laughs> Always throw tacticals when compromised. Oh. <laughs> Lesson seven. Suspects might fake surrender. Oh, lesson eight. Cutting power equals big night vision advantage. Cutting the power. Oh, Despite these oh, lessons, my loud. friends you and I still struggle that. at Milson games. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Shut the fuck up. Am I dead? I'm dead now, actually. Preach from the left. Preach from the left. Left. Parker. <laughs> God damn. That's why I said preach from the left. I told him not to go in <laughs> My friends there. lacked the most basic knowledge. Back up over here. Oh, oh, you're you're welcome. Welcome. Josh, stack up on the door. On the door, bro. Who is this right here in front of Who's me? Who's running? It's Parker. It's me. I'm right here. I'm at the door. <laughs> Back up on it. Like, I was on literally it. just there. Get on it. On the wall. One of my friends didn't understand the concept of arresting people. <laughs> Josh! What, bro? He is used to call these everybody <laughs> yeah. target mindset. Josh, stop! He's what are you doing? doing? What, bro? A big misconception that Call of Duty creates <laughs> is that clearing Vietnamese rat tunnels is cool. No one fights alone. Swift's dead. We got VC crawling all over. Where is your friend Swift? Dead. We will mourn him later, Mason. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh! In Milson games, it's definitely not fun. You bitch! <laughs> Dog died to a oh, trap. Oh! One of the scariest things you can encounter on Milson games are snipers. Oh, snipers! yeah. Oh. This isn't like Call of Duty where you can see sniper glitz or use a print yeah. that tells you what direction snipers are coming from. In Call of Duty, snipers are not a huge threat because you are the main character. Yeah. Get inside now! Oh, man. In Mill Sims, you are the side character. Oh, You're the side oh, character. Oh, no. Why are you oh, <laughs> staring me in the eyes? Fucking move the You do it. Dog. I'm dead. I got him. I got him. Good shot. There are two types of Milsim players. The guys that take Milsim's way too serious and hate Call of Duty players. Do you know? I play Call of Duty. All right, well, you downloaded the wrong type of fucking game, all right? You need to uninstall, refund your money, and go back to Call of Duty because this is big boy shit, okay? We don't run around. Oh. We don't go inside. We get done, okay? We don't run in. They start shooting. Oh, look at me. I got a grenade. He's okay. serious. No, she doesn't work. Milsim players view us Call of Duty players like we are just caged animals. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. We don't want to check it. That's really how it be. They reject us from their military simulator game because they think we have the lowest IQ in gaming. Yep. <laughs> I'm actually a Call of Duty player. I come from Call of Duty. Get the fuck out of here. Turn your ass around. Get out of here. The other type of Milson player, the frontline doers. <laughs> If they disregard your Call of Duty background, just want to get shit done. We're gonna full send it all the way up to the front lines. Form a quap, quap. I'm drunk. I should not be driving. Who let me drive? Where are we going? <laughs> I'm a Call of Duty player, so just take me straight to the front, okay? Yes, sir. All the way in. I'm a Call of Duty player. This is wild, though. My Call of Duty friends absolutely struggle with those sim games. Mm -hmm. Another game. It's so boring. Yeah, I really don't want to play this game anymore. We are not made for this. Like, we can't even do yeah. a simple task. Like, I, I honestly think if they told us to wipe our ass, I could not wipe my ass. The slightest differences between Milsim games and Call of Duty blew my mind. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. Uh, the, the, it's not war zone. I can't just smoke it that fast. No seat switching like in Call of Duty if your vehicle <laughs> pilot dies. Mm -hmm. Pilot just I'm died. Dead. Our I'm pilot dead. just fucking died. Our pilot just fucking <laughs> died. <laughs> <laughs> the difference to me was swimming. Call of Duty can swim with heavy exosuits and shoot accurately. 
Yeah, Whoa, yeah, yeah. what the fuck behind it? They can shoot while in the water? What type of shit is that? In Milsim games, you drown. No. It's oh, God. Okay, yeah. Someone's trying to take a little Oh, swim. you're trying to swim yeah, and shoot? Oh. Too heavy. Healing your teammates in Milsim games isn't as easy as just pressing a button like Call of Duty. I'm coming to the building! Yeah. I need a first aid. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> in Call of Duty, falling from a three story building is a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> I fell seven feet off a building in a millsim and instantly died. And called it, you could shoot a gun and fall out of while drop shot. Seven feet. Me, bro. He laid down. Not a millsims though. Yeah, there's no drop shot like that. Ah, call of Duty Dang. told me I could run through a building blasting a flamethrower. In Millsims, you can't do that. And I just had my movie moment and I yep. just killed myself. Okay, Dang. my time being bad and playing Millsim games really made me love and appreciate Call of Duty. <laughs> call of Duty prioritizes fun over realism in certain aspects for a more enjoyable experience. Yeah, if sure. developers implemented actual realism, it would shrink Call of Duty's player base significantly. Facts. Call of Duty just wants you to hop into play with no struggle and make you feel like you're super important in the digital world. You like Call of Duty? Yes. Yeah, the only game I have. I'm the Star of How come you guys like playing <laughs> Call of Duty? Today I made ourselves a clan. It's called WSS? Yeah. Oh, what's that mean? We stay strapped. Here's my friend. We Noah. stay, we stay Honestly, strapped. I'm gonna get off this game. Here's him on Call of Duty. Wow. Like turn on you little bitch. Things like customizing your operator for intro scenes that show off your cool skins to everybody in the game, MVP screens, uh, win screens, play the game highlights, and more. Weapons let you customize your blueprints, stickers, camos, charms, and cool inspects that other players get to see in game. So appreciation for Call of Duty posts. Mm -hmm. So I understand why people enjoy coming home from a long, hard day and just play some Call of Duty. Most importantly, Call of Duty generates feel good Ooh. moments you can't get anywhere else. Oh, um, oh, mm -hmm. Some clutch oh, moments. Oh, 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 that was tough. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe for more. This is dope, man. The fact that he played some military sims, that was that was that was pretty cool. Man. Yeah, nah, those <laughs> games are like legit yeah. realistic. Or they try to get as close as they can. Yeah. yeah. And they don't they don't play all the stuff that you uh -uh. can do on Call of Duty. And that's true. <laughs> yep. If people weren't able to just get on Call of Duty and just go crazy like they do, it would definitely shrink mm -hmm. the, the, the the revenue of it. Because people would be like, man, I ain't buying this. Facts. I didn't get on here to sweat. Facts, facts, facts. I'm here to take, take my day out on these guys. Mm -hmm. Or the girls. <laughs> but if y'all enjoyed it, you already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. Again, shout out to Hunter TV. Um, Yeah. Uh, we'll see what we, what we can do. Come on, bro. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But nah, continue to spread love, be love. Make sure y'all go support this channel. Run them up with a like and a subscription as well. Keep on supporting. Peace out. Alrighty. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.